41 Seaver Way. Welcome to the home of the New York Mets. This is City Field. MLB the show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Houston Astros going up against the New York Mets. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about ready to roll here. And on the hill, a soft tossing lefty, just like you, Chris, Jose Quintana. Chris, how about a scouting report? Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control Leading four or even five of those it. offerings, the look out, base hitters. Base. It's going to be a tough base day. Base. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. As the lefty gets to work. Jose oh, Altuve in now. Takes ball one off the plate. And now the lefty. And a good eye there. That one spoiled and... The count now two and one. The wind of the pitch. Smash down the left field line. That's down. One hops off the wall. Throws to second. And that's a leadoff double. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. This was a really nice swing. Didn't quite get enough behind it to get it out of here, but once it got over his head in left field, it was extra bases all the way. Now it's Alex Bregman. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Altuve rounds third, headed for the plate. He'll score, and the Astros take the lead. one nothing. Well, they strike first as he gets the job done to bring home the run. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Big-time power. Out there to center. Bader should have it. Falls it in for the out. And there's one down. Batting four. The first baseman. Now we check out the Astros lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time. And they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent and you always seem to see a team like this they come to the ballpark they know how to get down to business and they understand what the job is at hand and there's a ball One run across in the frame so far, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Just missed. towards center. Bader should have it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there are two down. Here's Kyle Tucker. Pick, the white fielder, number 30. Kyle Tucker. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Bregman off of first with two away. Out of bounce right side. Toss to Alonzo. That's the third out. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 1-0. 
It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at City Field. And today's starting pitcher, Framber Valdez. What do we have on him? Well, there are going to be a lot of balls in play because of the ground ball rate. Important that the defense stays engaged in the game. I think it's critical. Tempo is there. If you work quickly, it helps the fielders behind you to stay engaged, to make those plays, and help you get through the innings. Here comes a pitch. Right side. Corrals it. And there's one away. Here's a Mets lineup now. Already trailing by a run in this one. They'll be looking to get on the scoreboard early on as well. Well, it's just the one run, so not too big a hill to climb. But, yeah, if they can answer back in this inning or at least in the next couple, that'll maybe settle everyone into this ball game, and that includes their own starter on the mound. In the air right side. Tucker snags it. Two down. Batting third. Not shortstop. Francisco. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the veteran shortstop, Francisco Lindor. Lindor, a multi gold glove award winner, 30 years old now, and he was born in Puerto Rico. Next offering is in for a strike. The 0 2. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That one carrying. And it's gone. Francisco Lindor takes him deep. And it ties it up. It's 1 1. No matter how this outing ends, that pitch is going to haunt him for a while. An 0-2 mistake. That's supposed to be a pitch out of the zone. He left it in the spot that the hitter could do some damage with, and that's exactly what he did. Here's Pete Alonso. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Two out, space is empty. One and that one. one moves his feet. Inside Ooh, just that. missed. That Third one ball. not close. One and that's ball three. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. Three balls, two strikes to count. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Not a good. Here's Starling Marte. Marte. Pitch misses there, and it's one to no. At the belt and fires. Swings through that one for strike one. One ball, one strike. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Ground ball to Brayu. 
He takes oh. it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. The Mets do pick up a run on this solo blast. All even now at 1-1. Second inning, set to go. At the plate is the Astros catcher, Yaner Diaz. Quintana back to work. Quintana, a former All-Star. He features a sinker, a four-seamer, a curb, a changeup, and occasionally mixes in the slur. Next pitch is outside. Dave Lawrence behind the plate today. Consistent and pretty accurate with the balls and strikes. Yeah, he's one of those guys, Spook, that just keeps the game moving. Nothing overly unique about the strike zone that he calls, and as a result, he's appreciated by both sides. Close one doesn't get the call, and no that's ball three. Close pitch there, and he's kind of wondering where it missed. You know, getting a feel for each umpire's strike zone is something that pitchers and hitters really have to think about and work on from game to game, and sometimes from at bat to at bat. In for a strike, now three and one. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. Bounced, and that got the pitcher. And they get the out after the ricochet. And now they'll hustle out to check on him. That was quite a shot he took as you see him down on the knee. Yeah, clearly in some real pain, but he will not want to come out of this game if he doesn't have to. It's looking to me like he's going to try to shake it off and continue. Now the batter now, Chaz McCormick. Ball, First pitch inside. misses. One out, base is empty. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. That just misses. Two and one. Just missed. Left field, way back there. And out of here. And that gives him a lead. It's 2-1. The one thing the pitcher didn't want to happen just happened. That's not an easy one to stomach. <laughs> Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient. And it paid off. Base is empty one away. And stepping in for the Astros, Jeremy Pena. Ball. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One out, base is empty, and a run in here at the top of the second. Slapped hard the other way, but foul. Next one in the dirt. One down, base is empty. And another ball. Ripped to short. Tosses across the first. Two away. Batting none. The center fielder, number six, Jake Myers. Jake Myers up next for the Astros. Boog, this guy's just a tremendously talented center fielder. Gold glove caliber type out there. Offensively, he can do some things, but you know, also has some streakiness as well. I think the key is just trying to find a way for him to be consistent day in and day out. You know, he saves runs in the outfield, so that's going to buy him more time to work things out at the dish. 
That one catches the zone, and it's one and one. Now this is in the air down the line. Marte makes the grab, and that is that. Astros not your run on the solo homer. And this is now a 2-1 ball game. Bottom of the second, go. and now the Mets DH, DJ Stewart. And the pitch. That's in for a strike. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Fouls one off out of play back to our left. 0 and 2 now. Wouldn't Ball chase that time. Three. Left hand batter waits. Swings and misses. Struck him out. So up next for New York, Francisco Alvarez. Ball Just right off now. the outside edge, ball one. Broken bat, rolling to first. A flip to the pitcher Peter. covering. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Here's the third baseman, Brett Beatty. Misses outside, and that's ball one. That's through there for a strike. I got a ball, one strike. Two down, nobody on. Fights it off, you'll see another. Kicks and fires. Gets a piece and stays alive. Home team down a run. Bottom half of inning number two. And another ball. That just misses. And a full count now. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Quite the matchup we're seeing here. Six foul balls in this at bat alone. Really making him work out there. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. In an era with a lot of swing and miss and strikeouts, you got to love it at bat like this. No one giving in. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Diaz makes the catch. And that's the third out. Down in order go the Mets. They're down two to one. Here in Queens, on to the third inning. Here's, Here's the former base. MVP, Jose Altuve. When he steps into the batter's box, the comfort level looks so high. It doesn't matter what kind of delivery that pitcher has, what kind of velocity, what kind of secondary stuff. He is so settled in there, he owns the home plate area. The 1 0. And that one fouled off. 
Altuve has a lot of history with the Astros. In fact, he's played so many seasons in Houston that he's the only player to be named an All-Star in both leagues while playing for the same team. You know, Boog, Altuve goes back all the way to those Astros days in the NL Central before they moved to the AL West. Next one off the plate inside. Now two and two. That one is absolutely belted. Bader ranging back. Banks off the wall. In safely with a double, his second of the day. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Anytime you smoke a ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been, but obviously you have to be happy with that result. And now it's Alex Bregman singled and drove in a run his first time through. And the pitch a little bit low ball one. Runner in scoring position nobody out. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Offering is downstairs. Strike on the inside corner. That one out to right. Marte makes the grab. Runner tags up for third. Not in time. He's safe. The battle, number 44. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. There's a strike up high. And it's 0-1. I'm impressed that he went right after him on that first pitch. That's the key. Try to get ahead in the count. Then you can play around a little bit more as the at bat expands. You know one. Nope. And downstairs. 1-0. Altuve stands at third with one gone in the inning. Smash to center, way back, and you can forget it. Home run. A massive home run, and they add on. It's 4-1. That was blasted. Absolutely, no doubt off the bat. When you're lacking velocity, it's so critical that you move the ball around, change speeds, even try to trick the hitter at times. But when you give up a home run right there, manager doesn't have a lot of patience because the velocity is not there to overcome and get the swing and miss. Jose Abreu up to hit. He's 0 for 1. That one called a strike. 0 and 1. One down, base is empty. Right. Late hey. that time, and it's strike two. I think he was sitting oh, off speed there. Ball Pitch one. misses. It's a ball one and ball, two, two strikes. strikes. Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. Got it by him for the K. The right field Two outs, base is empty. Kyle and now it's going to be Tucker. Kyle Tucker. Grounded out his first time. Yeah. That clips the inside corner for a strike. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. McNeil gets it to first. And Tucker is retired. 
That's out number three. Two run shot for the Astros this inning. It's now 4 1. Major League Baseball is on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark as we go to the last of the third. And now Bader up to the plate. And a pitch. Get on the ground to the right side. And that's just foul. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. The pitch. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. And that turns the lineup over. He was all over that one. Well, couldn't get any no, air no, no. under it, but he smoked right that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there was just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Snap throw to first. Bader dives back. Nimmo in the box here lets that one go for a ball. And here it comes. Upstairs. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. Nope, that cool. just Thanks missed. Great. He walked him on four pitches. Oh, now he's got two runners on after that walk. And yeah, things can get out of hand in a hurry in these situations. Yeah. So he's going to have to find a way to get back into the strike zone. And now here's Jeff McNeil. And he hits a ground ball right side, and it goes just foul. The pitch. That misses the zone. One and one. Well, these Mets do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. He goes down looking. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. He's already homered in this game. Lindor. Bader over at second. Nimmo at first. One gone. a base hit coming home the throw to third pulls into third safely a run scores it's a two run game well done narrows the deficit with the RBI there showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way didn't get jumpy didn't try to pull the ball he let it get deep took the barrel right to it and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit runners on the corners with one gone and now it's the polar bear Pete Alonso Hard ground ball for a base stop. Runner from third in to score. It's 4-3. Back-to-back singles. There was nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on. Starling Marte up to hit. Grounded out his first time up. That's ripped into the outfield. Base hit into the outfield. Headed for the plate. He scores to tie it up. It's four to four. Well, we're starting over again, all tied up. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Now it's DJ Stewart. He was a strikeout victim his first time. There's a strike at the knees. 
It's 0-1. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. One out. Runners at first and second. Next offering is in for a strike. Though Chris through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Left-hand hitter waits. That one just misses. That one misses, and it's three and two. Way to lay off that pitch down. Francisco Alvarez waiting for a turn at the plate. Tied at four. That one the other way. Slings to second, and that's two. Three runs on four hits, no errors, and one left on. On to inning number four. And we are tied 4-4. Four, four. Back here with my pal Ziggy as we go to the top of the fourth. Leading off, Gainer Diaz. And he deals. That one's in there. 0-1. Well, these Astros doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive hey. side. They're hitting everything thrown at them. Their contact rate is in the low 90s. It's like they know what's coming, and that's just pretty ridiculous what they're doing right now. Those numbers are well above the major league average. One ball. That's Two down three. and in. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. Ground ball to the right side. Alonso He's takes out. it to the bag. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Now, Chaz McCormick. He's already homered here in this one. McCormick measures six feet even, 210 pounds, usually in center field, but today starting in left. That one back up the middle and it gets through. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Jeremy Pena up next for the Astros. He's over one. Swing and a miss, strike one. One thing I always felt if I played left field instead of center field was that the ball gets out there to you pretty quick. And the most important play is that ball down the left field line, getting to it, cutting it off, making a strong throw to keep that single instead of turning it into a double. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Marte makes the play, and there are two outs. The center fielder, number six, Jake Myers. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Jake Myers. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. That was blasted to the moon. It's 6-4. He sent the first pitch over the wall. Must have dinner reservations because he wasn't wasting any time at the plate in that at bat. A breaking ball on the inside part of the plate requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. Jose Altuve up to hit here. Liner, base hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive.
Now batting. Here's Alex Bregman. One for Alex two. Bregman. Sinker gets the bottom of the zone, and that's a strike. Two outs. And now the count is even. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game, and looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. The pitch. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. Two runs across in the inning. Top half of inning number four. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And that'll do it. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's a two-run lead now at 6-4. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And we're back, Lead bottom up. of the inning, oh, and here is Francisco Alvarez. Francisco Alvarez. The pitch. Well, after oh, scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. That's, That's off the good. mark. And the count is 2-0. 2-0 oh. oh count, great hitter at the dish. If you're going to miss, you've got to miss outside the zone. You miss inside the strike zone, you'll be asking the umpire for a new baseball. The wide to kick the pitch. And a foul ball. And a pitch. Finds its way through base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage now, counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. And next for the Mets, Brett Beatty. He popped out to the catcher his first job off. Ball one. one, no strikes. Alvarez aboard here at first with nobody out. Bounce to the right Foul. side, down the line, and it's foul. Right through there for a strike. Well, a good breaking ball like that can buckle the hitter, and by the time you realize it's going to be in the strike zone, it's too late to pull the trigger. comes a pitch way inside and that hit him he had two strikes on him and he hit him here's the center fielder Harrison Bader one for one with a single and a run scored so far that one misses and that is ball one Another ball. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. In for a strike, and it's two and one. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2 0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. And that clips the inside corner. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Back to the top of the Mets order. Brandon Nimmo up now for the Mets. 
Palma. Got the dish, Aye. looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything oh, but the yeah. inning, inning double play, Boog. Runners at first and second with one gone. Ball. Good eye in that spot. One ball, one strike. Base hit into center field. Throw back in, holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. Yeah. Everything came together for him. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Jeff McNeil stands in. Golden opportunity right here. That clips the zone. That's strike one. The Mets trailing by two. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. In the dirt. Now battle. Good stop. Here's Francisco Lindor. If you don't get ahead in the count. You can forget about having any success against him. Nope. The shortstop no takes the ball. Count one and oh. Just nope. missed. Pressure's on right here. 2 0 -oh count. Base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. Not close with that one. And now 3 and 0. Oh. Bases loaded here. If he walks him, probably not the worst thing because the alternative could be a grand slam. Ball four, and a run comes in to score. He's really gotten himself into a mess out there and now forces home a run with the wall. This inning's definitely getting away from him. Two outs, bases full. And next will be the Mets cleanup hitter, Pete Alonso. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And now one and two. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. Swing and a miss. Curveball in the dirt. Steps on the plate for the force. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. So they get one, but end up leaving the bases loaded. We're headed to the fifth. It's the Astros six and the Mets five. Back here at City Field. New inning getting started. And now the DH, Jordan Alvarez. Jordan Alvarez. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. That clips the corner. Stirring in the bullpen for the Mets. Jorge Lopez. The hard throwing righty is up and loosening. Smith warming up as well. One Next one. pitch is downstairs. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind him. This one in the air center field. Bader makes the catch. One down. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Jose Abreu. And ball one. Love it here at City Field. You know, it replaced old Shea Stadium back in 2009. And Chipper Jones was really sad to see it go. Nope. It's actually I the third that. home of the Mets since they started out at the Polo Grounds for two seasons before Shea was finished. One down, base is empty. 
That one spoiled and the count now two and one. Stays alive. The two two. Struck him out looking. Two outs, base is empty. Kyle right Tucker here. up next for the Kyle Astros. Tucker. And that's downstairs and outside. Fastball in for a strike, and it's one and one. Two down, nobody on. He swings and fouls one off. Swing and a drive, deep right field. And it is gone. And they add to their lead. It's 7-5. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. I'm sure there's a big grin on his face right now, Boog. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like it was going to bend foul. Was able to keep it in there, tucked it nicely, and he gets the jog around the bases. Good for him. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Jose Quintana gives way, and we'll be back with their first arm out of the for a quick Your break. Phil Bickford taking over on the mound. The He's into the game with the bases Number empty. 50. Phil. So two away with nobody on. And now Gaynor Diaz. Swag at a pop-up. Foul at a play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. Two down, base is empty, but one run across, and we're at the top of the fifth. Next oh. offering upstairs. Had a swing and a line drive at a right field. Marte brings it in. And that is that. One more for the Astros, and it comes on this solo homer. And it's 7 5. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and now the right fielder, Starling Marte. Starling Marte. The pitch. And ball one to the right fielder. Wouldn't and chase that two. time. Two and oh. Two and oh to Cal. Here it comes. Line drive, base hit right for you. So a man on base to start the inning. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. So now here's the DH, DJ Stewart. Clips the corner. That's strike one. We're going to foul over the screen and back out of play. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here.
Field two. In the dirt, blocked, and the runner holds. The Mets down by a pair. Last half of inning number five. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, you rarely ever see three curveballs in a row because that's one of those pitches that's most effective when you haven't seen it recently. You might see three sliders in a row, but right there, he was feeling that curveball and figured he could finish with that pitch. Francisco Alvarez digs in now. Now a pop up on the infield. Abreu has this one sized up. He's got it, and there's two away. Now batting. Third baseman, Brett Beatty. So two down now, and here is Brett Beatty. Nope. And a good eye there. Movement in the bullpen. Oh, Ronel Blanco, Blanco appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Sousa, a left-hander, also throwing. And that's down and away. Well, just about to hit that century mark. A hundred pitches for this game. To the right side, Altuve. To first, gets him easily, ends the inning. Mets leave one and they're down seven to five. Back here in Queens, the here's the left fielder, Chaz McCormick. Chaz McCormick. And a pitch. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. And there's a foul ball. Come on, man. Got him looking. And that's the first out. Wow, short work to send him packing to start the inning and no messing around either. All three pitches were in the strike zone, attack mode all the way, and that's pretty impressive given the pop he was dealing with at the plate. Jeremy Pena now at the plate. The shortstop takes the ball. Counts one and oh. Base is empty one away, and we're the top half of the sixth. Let's go, man. One one now. Nope. Slider misses outside. outside. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. The two on. That's ball three. Fly ball to right. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. The center fielder, number six, Jake. Myers. So up next, Jake Myers. He had a big swing back in the fourth, a two-run homer, and that helped them get the lead. And what a swing it was, Boo. Poetry in motion, and those are the type that you hardly feel when you connect with the baseball. Just so smooth, a great feeling off the bat. Ball and one. the first pitch misses for ball one. Fastball, and he gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. Oh. 
And ball. another ball, no well, I would expect, in this 3-0 count. You're taking all the way. See if he'll walk you. Jose Altuve up next. Hey. Here's a strike, and the count is 3-1. and one. That one ripped left field. Nimmo reaching back towards the wall. Leaps at the wall but can't haul it in. Around second now as they still don't have it. Pulls into third safely with a triple. Up next to the Astros, the second baseman. Jose Altuve, the next to hit. Three for threes, doubled twice and single. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. All ones the count. Righty delivers. That one ripped. And foul ball. And a swing and a miss down on strikes, and the inning is over. So one hit is all they get. 9 1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Astros 7 and the Mets 5. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Bennett Sousa. And this is an important part of this game. Ladies Tight and score and still a lot of outs lead. to get. So now they're looking for a big outing seven. out of him right here to Number get some critical outs. Bennett. Harrison Sousa. Bader Ready up now for the for Mets. The center Mets. fielder, Harrison Bader. And the pitch. Nope. Just missed. Activity in the bullpen. Rafael Montero appears to be getting loose. And now the lefty. Swing and a ball popped up. And it drops in. Man aboard on the leadoff single. With the way defenders track down balls now these days, I mean, right. both from the infield and in the right outfield, there really aren't a lot of base right. hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. So the lineup flips over. Here's Brandon Nimmo. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike oh, one. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. Now snap throw oh, to first. Dead. Bader dives back. Now here's a flare off the bat. And a base hit right there. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Back to back base hits. Pitch was away, so he definitely pulled off it there. Not what you want to do with the pitch in that location, really, but he was able to guide it into the outfield for the knock. Now it's the second baseman, Jeff McNeil. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Kicks and deals. Just nope, missed. And a pitch. And another ball. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. 
That one misses. And now three and one. Francisco Lindor getting on deck circle. At the belt and fires. Right down to shoot. And now it's three and two. And boy, that was the pitch. Three one. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. And a swing and a miss. And that is a big first out. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. The Astros turn to a new arm of the mound, Ronel Blanco. Still a lot of game left, and this game could go either way. So this is a big opportunity for him to get some important outs and try to help carry this lead into the later innings. And now it's Frankie Lindor. First offering and it just misses. With the go ahead run at the plate here in the bottom of the sixth. To the right side. Fires to second for one. Back to the pitcher covering. It's a double play. Nicely done, and that'll do it. So a strong showing there from the Houston bullpen. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Astros seven and the Mets five. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now the number two hitter, Alex Bregman. Alex Bregman. Bickford back to work. Now to short, Lindor. And they get oh. Bregman for the out. So now the DH spot, your Don Alvarez. His two run homer back in the third was an important swing of the bat in this one. Yeah, there's no doubt he helped set the tone fairly early and certainly part of the reason why they've got the lead right now. Oh, Off the plate, right ball one. Wouldn't chase that time. 2 0. Oh. Down the right field line and a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. The batter, the first baseman, Jose. And here now is the Astros cleanup hitter, Jose Abreu. Hey. Swings through that one. 0 oh 1. 0 oh 1 for the count. Alvarez leads off first with one away. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. And that's off the inside edge. And the count one and two. On the ground to the left. Beatty to first. There to beat him by an eyelash. Kyle Tucker up next for the Astros. One for three. And there's a ball. ball one, Two outs right. and one in scoring position. Next yeah. offering is in for a strike.
just misses the mark outside the zone. It's a good take. Man on second, two down. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Alvarez around third. The throw in. He'll score, and they take a three-run lead. He went up there and got it. With two strikes, I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where you could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there coming back in that at bat. So two down. So next up for Houston, Yainer Diaz. That's a slider for a strike. 0-1. Two outs. Good ball eye one. in that spot. I got one ball, one strike. Ripped on the ground a second. Tossed to Alonzo. And that is the third out of the inning. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now 8-5. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here with my pal Siggy, and now the first baseman, Pete Alonzo. The wind of the pitch. And that's outside, and it's one to know. Blanco, the six-foot righty, he features a slider, a four-seamer, a changeup, and occasionally mixes in the slur. One ball, one strike. Not even close there. And a count two and one. The line in the pitch. Smoked on the ground a second. Throws to first. One up, one down. Now batting. Right fielder, Starling Marte. Digging in, Starling Marte. <laughs> Foul ball there. That's a and ball. takes low for ball one. There's a swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Struck him out swinging. Slider got him for strike three. He had him out in front, which isn't now easy to do against a hitter like this, hitter. known for using he the can. entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. And next is the designated hitter, DJ Stewart. Hey. That's in there, and it's 0-1. Two down, nobody on. That yep. misses. And a count even, one and one. Yep. And another and ball. Back. Two down, nobody on. Here at the bottom of the seven. Line to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. Mets go down quickly. Still looking up at an 8-5 deficit. The Mets with a new arm on the mound. Jorge Lopez. 
Pretty tight game, Number so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And stepping in for the Astros, Chaz McCormick. Number 20, Chaz McCormick. And here it comes. That yep, one that off the mark. Out. Ball one. What are you doing? Just missed. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. 2 0. And hey. that's him for a strike. That one down the line, and that's just foul. Two two now. And he grounds one to the right side. And he handles it himself for the out. No, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. And the batter will be the shortstop, Jeremy Pena. 0 for three with two flyouts and a ground out. On uh, the ground to third. On to first. And a couple of quick outs. The center fielder, number six. Jake, Jake Myers, Myers getting ready to hit. And a big swing and a miss. Action oh in the God. pen down there. Jake Diekman, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. Two down, nobody on. And we're in the top of the eighth. Next pitch is in the dirt. And now it's even one and one. Right, he deals. Battling here as he fouls it away. Right handed reliever. Ball, that's it. Swing and a broken bat flare. McNeil. Throw to first is in time. And the Astros put down in order. One, two, three, go the Astros. They're on top by three. Eight, five. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Brian Abreu. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Here's the catcher for the Mets, Francisco Alvarez. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. First pitch, just misses. Swing and a foul straight back. A healthy cut, tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. Right-hander kicks, deals. Two balls, one strike. Hard ground ball, base down. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Now the third baseman, Brett Beatty. And a good eye there.
Close one doesn't get the call. Two and oh. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Next offering is in for a strike. That's Misses bullshit. just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. And he pumps it a strike. Okay. Nobody out. Runner at first. Kicks and fires on the ground right That's side, and it goes just foul. Payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. And stepping in for New York, Harrison Bader. Harrison Bader. And that's a strike. Just oh, off out. the outside edge. And that's ball one. Alvarez leads off first with one away. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. Next offering is down low. Bounce to the left side and foul ball. Two two now. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. The pitch swings and misses. Slider got him for strike three. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back to back strikeouts. So. They haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. So Josh Hader gets the call to the mound. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the athlete, number 71, Josh Hader. So the batting order turns over. Brandon Nimmo up now for the Mets. Foul ball. Two outs. That one pushed to the left and foul. That's a little bit low. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Left hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Out number three. All set to start the ninth in this one. Here's the Astros leadoff man, Jose Altuve. Saying he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. Yep, These know. guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn that on the inside through. pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. Kicks and deals. Swing and a pop-up. Alvarez settles underneath it. 
Makes the catch. One away. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Here's the third baseman, Alex Bregman. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Base is empty one away. You're at the top of the night. That one missed. One down, base is empty. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. The pitch. In the air, right field. Marte makes the grab, and there's two away. Now batting, the designated hitter. Your two Don outs, base is empty. Alvarez. Now here's the Astros designated hitter, your Don Alvarez. Hey. Strike of the outside corner. It's all one. one. And that skips in the dirt. And that's downstairs and outside. The 2 1. Ground ball left side. And that's just foul. Lopez gets the swing and the miss. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Three up, three down that time. Two, three, four. Set to hit in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Astros eight and the Mets five. And we're back. We head to the bottom of the ninth. Here's the second baseman, Jeff McNeil. And he deals. So now the hard throwing left hander Josh Hader on the hill and when you look at the start of Hader's career pretty incredible arguably one of the top beginnings to a career for any reliever in history ground ball right side and he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. Ball on there Hader at times can have some trouble with command but it's that fastball slider combo. That is so impressive. That two one not close. The count now two and two. Okay. A little bit low. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The punch out there, and one gone. The battle. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. Lindor. Just oh, missed. Hater, an All Star a season ago. He features a two seam fastball, a slider. And he works in a changeup. And a pitch. To third, Bregman. Two up, two down. Oh. Couple of pitches and a quick out. Now batter, the first baseman, Keith. Oh, wow. So, last chance for the Mets. So, up next for New York, Pete Alonzo. Pitch misses, and that is ball one. The Strohs leading by three. We're in the last half of the ninth inning.
One strike away. Swung on, belted. That one back there. Off the batter's eye and gone. A gigantic blast. And they inch closer. It's 8 6. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. Ryan Presley Your gets handed the rock out of the pen. Now These are the spots where levers really make a name for themselves, 55. late and Ryan. close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. And next for the Mets, Starling Marte. Way high with that one. Ball one. There's a strike. Back and forth we go. A seesaw battle in the late stages of this one. Swings through that one for strike two. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. And that's outside. And that's ball two. On the ground a third, and this should do it. And that'll do it. Well, this was a total team effort using six pitchers in this ball game to get the win. Outstanding job of passing the baton. The next pitcher stepping up and getting it done. You got to give them a lot of credit because this is not easy to do. We'll see how it affects them over the next couple of days. Final score of eight to six in this one for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.